Hey, on Jiffy Bag Collector International, we've got a real treat for you. Look at this amazing sausage bag. It's, what could you possibly fit in a bag as tremendous as this? It's the Quiver Case from Quiver Time. The outer material is this wonderful black faux leather, which feels really nice to the touch. It does only come in the one colour, black, but there is this fantastic chrome plate here with the Quiver logo on it. And it comes protected with this nice little bit of plastic there to ensure that it arrives with you in pristine condition. This is definitely something to show off and be proud of. It is 17 and 3 quarter inches wide, which is about 45 centimeters, 5 inches deep, which is about 12 and a half centimeters, and it's about 3 and a half or 9 centimeters tall. It will fit into the Magic 20 litre rucksack with ease and probably to most carry-on luggage. What you're going to realize with this product is that attention to detail is everything here. You can see that after manufacture, they've basically bound up the end strap here where it all connects together to stop it flapping about and damaging things. The buckle on the other end and the two zips themselves are contained in this piece of custom made foam here, on the bottom of which is a cotton bud. It turns out that this is the ideal component to secure the strap into the packaging foam itself. And while we're here, if you take a look at the zips, these aren't off the shelf uh, things that they've picked up. These are custom cast with the Quiver logo on, very high chrome finish. These look spectacular. And there are two of them, so you can zip it and unzip it from either end. This is a semi-rigid case, meaning that there is some flex in it. So don't sit on it while you're waiting for the convention hall to open. And don't put it in any bags that you're going to overstuff. With a case like this, make sure that when you are closing it, the lid doesn't slip inside the outer edge of the base of the case. Make sure that they're lined up nicely like that when you zip them up and everything should be fine. Now, the closure is a fully taped zip which means that there is a plastic seal outside of the zip so when the zip passes over and it opens and closes the two halves of the plastic seal outside here will meet to vastly increase the water resistance of this amazing product. It's usually a feature you'd find on high-end waterproof gear like this. Because of this taping and because the product is new, when you get to the corners, you do have to give it a bit of an oomph to get it around there. When you do get it open, the case is jam-packed with a fantastic amount of goodies. You get four of these lovely rigid dividers, which are extremely thick perspex in two colours. Each of them comes individually wrapped, so they aren't going to be scratched or damaged when you get them. They've got a tab in one corner, and if you flip it over, you can easily put it to the other corner. And they've got the lovely Quiver logo on both sides. You get one short strap, which has a lovely chrome clip at the end here. Uh, it's got some insanely good stitching, uh, and it's a very nice, soft, ribbony texture. What you do is you clip that onto the case like so, and you can carry it around. Just loop it through your wrist just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. You get a lovely long strap as well, which has got two of the fancy chrome buckles so you can attach it to either end of the case. Uh, there's a shortening strap here, so you can have it at any length that's convenient for you. It's longest, it will be 43 inches, which is 1 meter 10 centimeters. And at its shortest, it's 23 inches, which is about 59 centimeters. You can carry it on your shoulder like a handbag, or you can strap it across your back like a sword. And either way, it leaves your hands free for carrying bags, shaking hands, or eating snacks. When it's empty or half full, this is very comfortable. But when it's full to bursting point with cards, this is quite heavy. So we wouldn't recommend the wrist strap at full load. The interior is lined all the way around on the bottom of the edges and on the lid with a fantastically soft, lovely felt surface. There is a single mesh pocket on the lid, which does expand, uh, so you can fit quite a lot in there. Let's take out the little goodie bag that comes with it. And in your little bag of goodies here, you get a little thank you note, the contents of your case, the website and email address, a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card, and details of how they donate a $1 to underprivileged children for every case that you buy. There's another little card with social media details on one side, and how you can give feedback or what to do if you have any concerns about the product on the other. And of course, a second free Ziploc bag. Oh, aren't you lucky? They also throw in two packs of 50 sleeves, which is very nice of them. And the base is a main compartment, which has five of these removable tabs. On one side, they're padded, and on the other side, they're rigid. But they only fit in one way. The Velcro is only on one of the sides. So you need to either 
put them in a particular way or flip them over so the tabs will always face in a predictable direction. Because these adhere by the little tabs here, there is a danger of your cards obviously brushing up against them. So you're going to try and want to keep loose cards on the side without the tabs. The dividers are quite strong, at least when new. This one here is supporting the weight of about 400 sleeved cards. At the end of each row is a padded buffer, which can pull out like that. This stops the cards getting damaged by the curves of the corner of the case. You can always think of removing the corner buffers, placing one of the little flexible Velcro dividers at the end to make a little pocket. And that's where you can stick your tokens at each end which should keep the cards away from the corners and stop them being squished. Your sleeve cards will stand taller than the base of the case. You can see at the back of the front there. So if you did want to stack them front to back, they'd get squished when you close the lid if you aren't careful. But if you do put them sideways, there is plenty of clearance for the lid to close and there's plenty of gap in the lid itself so it won't actually make contact with your cards when you close it. When the zips are fully open, the case will open all the way up like that and it will lay flat on the table. You don't have to worry about the whole thing toppling over and all your cards falling out. These are all the cards from one core box sorted into their individual set. And this is them in the quiver case. We've got one set of tokens down at this end and there's one at the other end. We've used the four rigid dividers to divide the five classes of player card. Then we've created a little mini pocket here using two of the Velcro uh, dividers. And that's got all our investigator cards and our neutral cards, which we're dividing up with the mini cards. And what you want to make sure is the Velcro tabs a touching here so there isn't any space left over so your cards aren't traveling and bumping into the edge of the tab like that. This is all our scenario cards here unfortunately we don't have enough dividers to divide them up but you can easily make some particularly as they give you free sleeves and as you can see there's plenty of space left over. This is all the cards from the Dunwich Legacy which are waiting for sleeving and we've also got a POD scenario here and lay them down flat like so and potentially you can squeeze two in here, one here and one the other way up and maybe a second layer as well. If you don't mind folding your rule books then they will fit in the lid but they are going to get a little bit squished. And if you added the player cards from a second core set they barely fill half of the case. If you like using deck boxes then the 100 count acrylic deck box won't fit in that way but it will fit in that way round and the lid will close nicely. It's the same with the ultimate guard, 80 counts, things won't generally fit this way round but you can easily lay them that way round and the lid closes. If you remember that bit of foam with the cotton bud you can always slip it in there to keep things from banging against each other. This is it at maximum capacity with the five flexible dividers and the four rigid perspex dividers as well. And it tops out at one, one, two, five unsleeved cards. If you took the perspex dividers out, that's probably another 29 cards you could squeeze in. And removing all of the dividers, we squeezed in another 75 unsleeved cards. If you did take the buffers out of the ends, then you could obviously put more in. But this is where the case is going to flex. And the cards on the end are the ones most likely to be damaged. That's 200, 400, 600, 800 and 50 single sleeved cards using the five flexible and four rigid dividers. Or you could leave out the last 50 and squeeze both bags of tokens in the end there. If you did remove all the dividers, that's about another 45 cards that you could just about squeeze in there. Initially, we were worried that a soft case like this wouldn't provide much water protection, but having a look at the tape seam, we're not so sure. Let's give it a dunk. Once, twice, three times. Dry it off a little bit. Open the case. Let's see. All right, no, there is water in there, so don't submerge it is the lesson of the day. If you keep the massive jiffy bag tucked into the lid, if you are caught out in a rain shower, you can easily stick it in the bag and that will vastly improve the waterproofing. 
And because the zip is so far up the case, there is no reason why this won't deal with a spilt drink if it's on a gaming table, or if you actually put it down somewhere with a little spill. And whilst we don't recommend using this as a flotation device, when empty, it does float. So if you run out of bath toys for the little one, why not? And because of the shiny surface, look at that. It's drip drying quite nicely. Give it a shake, give it a wipe with a cloth, and there you go. Stop! Quiver time!